Kelly grabbed a can off the table and held it in front of me. You know, it took me eight years to be able to do this. People would break down in tears in front of me, trying to learn to reuse their hands again. She was here with other stroke patients, all training and practicing to regain the use of their limbs. As a design researcher, I was here to learn how patients interacted with rehabilitation devices. She told me frankly what she thought about all these devices that she was trying. That shiny new one over there, that's crap. And that one over there, it's junk. With a blunt focus on practicality. It's gotta work, she said. Work for people. Her head scars were unavoidable. Gouging dents, the skin was trying to hold on to. I thought to myself, as a careful reminder, watch what you're looking at, don't stare. I could see the scars, but not the wounds they covered. She reminisced about her adventures saving animals and transporting exotic tigers on enormous Boeing 747s, traveling from India and Africa and Europe to Asia. I was so active. I would travel. I made great money back then, she would say. She looked from me to her hands in disappointment, lost dreams. I would check my recorder, change the settings on my camera quickly with glances and quick adjustments. It was seamless. I almost was ashamed at the ease. I became so cognizant of this, my hands nimble and articulate, waiting for the chance to affect the world on the cusp of my aspirations. I concealed my movements under the table. She was like a seasoned adventurer sifting through supplies before her journey. This will work, this doesn't work. With no remorse at all. You don't need this, we're leaving it behind. So what do you like to work with? She leaned in and paused, dirt. Feeling the earth between my fingers, my garden, my plants. I bring things to life. Kneading the dirt between her fingers was the restoration of her lost dreams. She found purpose in using her hands again.